All right, people, welcome back. Card review only on Mondays now. Only on Mondays. Yes, uh, this Wednesday you should be getting your additional tag daily duels all ready to go. So now card reviews are just on Monday, but that's what you guys decided. So that's fine. We review one card per week. I can do that. And uh, let's go ahead and start off the week with a pretty good one, of course. So card review. We are looking at the Trap Tricks Xe. Yes, Trap Tricks got an Xe monster. Like what? Yes. So look at that art. Hello? Are they having like a slumber party? Like all of them are there. Just chilling. Just chilling. And I guess this, this bitch in the middle is the, the head bitch in charge. Uh, this is the Vexicus 466. Okay. But uh, seriously, uh, Trap Tricks getting the XE. You know, a lot of people are saying, you know, that Trap Tricks are getting the XE monster. You know, with uh, diarrhea summoning back from Melio and, you know, them not going to their own XE. It seems kind of odd. But finally, after many, 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 many packs later and them falling in and out of popularity, uh, they finally got an XE. So maybe this will be able to spark interest back into the powerful Trap Tricks engine. So, this is Trap Tricks Raphaelicia? Raphaelicia, I think? I don't know. That is Raphael Alicia. I don't know. She, she, she don't look ghetto, but she real ghetto. Anyway, she is an Earth Plant type XC monster with only 300 attack. But I don't know, you can't see about the card art, you can't really see. But she's got that ass. Of 2,500, the attack barrier, shit, shit, fucking, Utopia ain't strong enough, bouncing off that ass, Stardust, nope, fucking, you think you're gonna summon your fucking Vortex Dragon, nope, that ass, but, uh, 25 booty, that's pretty strong, it's really strong, but, the thing is, she is generic, it's just two level four monsters, it, you think it would be two level four Trap Trick monsters, cause, you know, you know, Dianera, some of them are male X in her, nope, generic. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the effect. So, this card with XC materials is unaffected by the effects of trap cards. Period. You know, usually they're affected by by whole trap cards. No, this is just unaffected by trap cards. Period. No fiendish chain. No breakthrough skill. None of that shit. Unaffected. Unaffected. So, I mean, she could still. I think. She, yeah, she could definitely still be solemn warning, right? Because she's not even summoned yet. Yeah, she hasn't even hit the fill yet, so I think you could still summon more in her, but, you know, you, you can't, you can't compulse her. It's just, wow. And, you know, 25 booty, unaffected by traps. Not like you're gonna come at your opponent with, like, where they're and get near a fortune or anything, but unaffected by traps, period. And you guys know, you know, Phoenix Chain and Breakthrough Skill, pretty popular traps, so, there you go. You know, even unaffected by, uh, Lose One Turton, so, there you go. Alright, next, uh, Trap Trick Monster you control, except for herself, cannot be destroyed in battle or card effects, and cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. And so, you're telling me that as long as this is on the field, Trap Trick Monsters are invincible, you know. Can't be destroyed by battle, by card effects, and cannot be targeted, so they, they, they can't be touched, you know. Like this bitch, she's having a slumber party, and she's gonna make sure that all of her friends are safe and sound in her house. Cause God, you you can't touch. You gotta you gotta take her out. You gotta kill her before you can go kill her friends. Like you you're like a serial killer busting up into her sleep with into her slumber party. But she is gonna throw herself at her at you before you can kill her friends. She's like, no, don't go after my friends. Take me first. Where am I going with this card of you? <laughs> but. Damn, alright, so you gotta you gotta get over the twenty five booty, you gotta kill her before you can go out to any other trap tricks monsters. That that's powerful. So far all these effects are good. But that, she ain't done, she ain't done, she got another fight. Once per turn, during either player's turn, of course, spell speed two, you can dash XC material from this card and send a whole normal trap card whose activation requirements meet are met from your deck to the graveyard, this effect becomes the effect of that card when activated. That's busted. That's, that's busted, hello? You know, you thought fucking, fucking one of the Trap Tricks monsters that can, you know, play holes from your fucking hand was fucking good. Because your opponent can't even see it coming. It's not like they can, like, MST or anything. You know, they just summon it. It's just like, oh, I'm going to play this hole card from my hand. Get fucked up. No, this bitch fucking plays it from your goddamn deck. Send it from the deck to the graveyard. Are you fucking shitting? You know how fucking pissed off someone's gonna be? You have this bitch on the field and they're like, summon my blue eyes, my dragon. You're like, uh -huh. during either player's turn, you text the material. I'm gonna send this bottomless from my fucking deck to the graveyard. Get bottomless. Like, what? That's like, sending from hand to fucking, uh, hand. From hand, trapping from hand, holding from hand, that's powerful. This, this is beyond, it's like, wow. See, she's unaffected by traps, you can't fuck in, up any other trap trick monsters, and she can drop holes from your fucking deck. This bitch is busted, oh my god. 
<laughs> I mean, I already don't like trap tricks just because I don't like traps like that, and especially don't like whole cards. But just being like, um, uh, yeah, send bottomless, get fucked up. Uh, send trap trick shuffle nightmare, get fucked up. Uh, send uh, space time trap hole, get fucked up. Like, yo, <laughs> like holy shit, this bitch is a bitch to be reckoned with. Like, pretty much, she's a, she's another enabler, and if you're if you're running if you're running back row like that. I definitely recommend it. Like, I, I can definitely see fucking, like, Teller Knights. A deck like Teller Knights, you know, increasing their fucking, um, their, their background energy, you know, putting a couple bottom lists, putting a couple, you know, Trap 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 Nightmares, a couple Space Times, just for, you know, Pendulum Summoning, because, you know, Queens are probably going to go up in popularity. Then Xing into this bitch, you know, I'll tell you the nab search, Xing into this bitch, because she's generic, and then just drop holes from their fucking deck like it's nothing, like it's butter, like, oh my god. This bitch is super good. Like, mm, 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 mm. I mean, you know, you always thought they were gonna make a trap trick succeed, but like this though, like this, really, nigga. Mm. Sending trap holes from your fucking deck to your graveyard and activating them. What the fuck? Who thought of this? Get fired. <sighs> so, tell me what you guys think about this bitch in the comment section below. But I think it's, I think it's stupid. I already don't like traps, but the, just the idea of you being able to send a bottomless from your deck to your graveyard to bottomless me, I'll slap the shit out of you. <laughs> so, anyway, like I said, trap. I mean, about to say trap trick. Card view is now once per week, only on Mondays, which is fine. So, Mondays card view, Tuesdays the end of commentary, Wednesday is an additional tag daily duels. Which also goes with the daily duel tag on Tuesdays and Thursdays for three daily duels per week that are tagged and three daily duels that are not. And that's even split. Thursdays are the live videos and of course Friday is Fake Card Friday. And then soon, soon, Saturday and Sunday will be the league. So I look forward to it. Uh, so give me like give me like two weeks. Two weeks and we should have it started up. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So like I said. I'm section below. Tell me what you guys think about this bitch, because I think she's just too damn good. Like, wow. Please, please be OCG exclusive. Please. Please. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, uh, I will see you guys next Monday with another card to look at. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.